Hi, my name is Yvette van Kempen, and today I stand in front of you wanting to share my story about Ubuntu. I was 13 years old when my body stopped. It was in a state of toxic shock due to a strep infection. I experienced what they call a near-death experience. I experienced that I was one with all. There was no distinction between my body and my surroundings. There was no time, no clock. We just were. Timelessness and oneness. The world was never the same after this. My DNA, my pathogens, an orthomolecular doctor explained to me recently, changed on that very day. Five months into my recovery, I was sitting in front of the television in my bed that was put downstairs in the living room. And I remember seeing seeing images of Nelson Mandela being released from prison after 27 years of imprisonment. Tears rolled down my cheeks and I wanted to touch the images. I climbed out of bed and I now know that on that day the seeds were sown of the philosophy of Ubuntu that Nelson Mandela embodied. Ubuntu translates to I am because of who we are. Or in Kosa, as we speak it in the Eastern Cape, Ubuntu, Nukumbuntu, Nagabantu. You are who you are because of how you relate to others around you. An ancient life philosophy from a country, South Africa, that has been part of half my life now, my second home. Boy, did I try to fit in. We were all teenagers at school when I was 13, 14 years old. Um, my friends were experimenting with alcohol, partying and dating. Oh. Well, I had the idea that I'd been given a second chance in life and I wanted to get everything out of it that life had to offer. And the most remarkable thing that I noticed that changed about myself when I was 13 is that I saw the world in possibilities and connections. In my perspective of the world, everything is connected. There are no coincidences and synergy and synchronicities are guiding us on our path. This built me off this young. Um, look at how schools of sardines move as one through um, the ocean and swarms of swallows dance through the sky. To me it seems like we might have forgotten to be part of nature and to connect. If we could just reconnect and look at nature, see how trees have always taken care of each other and are connected through the root system and how fungi help them communicate with each other. In South Africa, we have trees, acacias, that once a giraffe comes and eats from the acacia, it, it, it's, it, it, it gives some poison out, a smell, where from 100 meters down the line, other acacias sent out that same smell when um, a giraffe wants to eat it. It's quite amazing. A small seed um, 
seems to know exactly whether to grow into a beautiful peony or a gorgeous daffodil. And it didn't go to school. It didn't read a book. And it certainly did not look, look and watch an instructional video on YouTube. It just knew. Lately, I've been wondering whether or not the internet and the excessive use of social media and our mobile phones is just maybe part of a bigger plan, far greater than we can imagine. What if it's just there to remember us and to show us to reconnect with ourselves, with each other and with the collective consciousness? I see interconnectedness every day, especially in kids and animals. Sometimes I take my puppy, who I've recently named Ubuntu, into a super-sized shopping bag into the supermarket. And it's always small children that notice her first, while the mums and dads are checking their shopping list and navigate through the supermarket. Every day is Ubuntu for us. In my world, in my truth, we're all in search of somewhere to belong, a tribe or a community. In Ubuntu, I have found a way of life. It's not something you do, it's who you are. These days, when I got asked, what is it that you actually do? I tell people that I'd rather share with them who I am instead of what I do. Because if you really want to get to know me, then ask me who I am, not what I do, because I can do many different things. We are human beings, not human doings. So to truly reconnect, I think we could also start by um, greeting each other in a different way. So I would like to introduce the Ubuntu handshake to you. Please turn to the person left of you, or you'll find a way somehow if there's no one, no one next to you, and fold your hands straight around the other person's hand, and then wrap your thumbs around the other person's hand. And there's just say Ubuntu, I am, because we are. My story has not finished yet. And with that, ours hasn't either. But for now, I greet you, Ubuntu. Thank you.